Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crazy Dreamer Network. My name is AJ and let's hop right into today's reading. So today's reading is going to be a pick a card on what the spirit slash your angels or guides want you to know right now, okay? What the spirit or and or all of them, <laughs> your angels and guides want you to know right now, all right? So we have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. We have pile number one, this ace of pentacles or ace of diamonds. We have pile number two, this ace of spades, I believe, or this is the ace of cloves uh, or the ace of wands. Then we have the Ace of Hearts or the Ace of Cups. And last but most certainly not least, we have the Ace of Spades and um, the Ace of Swords, okay? So again, pile number ones, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. I love you all so very much, my dreamy dreamers, and I'll see you in your readings, bye. Hey, pile number ones, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this beautiful Malachite stone, okay? This beautiful Malachite stone along with the Ace of Diamonds or the Ace of Pentacles. So ultimately, off bat, what I'm getting that spirit, your angels and guides want you to know right now is that almost like, I know this might sound crazy, but the world is, re the atmosphere, the ethers, the universe is revolving around you right now. That's what I'm getting. Like, I don't know why pile number ones, but that is what I'm getting. Like, you're the center of the universe right now, okay? What do you want? Like, what do you want? You can have it, and it's almost like you're in charge, right? You're in charge right now. You're the HBIC, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm not going to say what that means, but just, you know google it <laughs> you're you're the head person in charge right now so what do you want you know um also yeah it's almost like the universe it's not almost god spirit source energy your angels and guides are telling you here's this opportunity make the most of it because right now the universe is revolving around you so what is it that you want name it okay you're in charge that's really what I'm getting, all right? But let's hop into your reading. So we have the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. All right, again, you're headed into calmer waters. You're headed into more clarity. You're headed into more, um, just more, you know? In the past or perhaps in the past few weeks or in the past couple months, even year or years, you know, take it, uh, take it as it resonates. I feel like maybe things have been shaky. You've been in shaky water. You've been in uh, turbulent water, so to speak, right? But now things are alleviating and they're, acquiesce they're acquiescing towards you, towards your benefit, all right? Uh, again, we're asking what source, what spirit and your angels and guides want you to know. Your guide is right here. Your guide just came through in the reading like super transparent, like I'm leading you to better days. I'm leading you to a calmer and more uh, precise mindset, more clarity so you can gain more victories okay and whatever that you have been struggling with in the past or whatever you have been dealing with in the past you know you got out of there you made it you made it out to the other side all right all right so let's delve into these cards we have the three of pentacles the king of wands the hanged one the seven of swords in reverse the two of swords in reverse queen of swords Three of swords in reverse, we have the nine of wands, ten of wands in reverse, and the knight of wands. Interesting, we have a lot of wands card. We cards. We have like four wands cards. And I always count, I don't know why, but I always count the tree in the background of the hanged man or the hanged one as almost like a wand. So there's a lot of action and momentum going on in your life right now, pile number one. All right, so let's start in the center of the reading with the hanged one and the nine of wands. It's like hang. I feel like it's so interesting because I don't know if you all have ever heard the notion hanging on by a thread, 
but it's almost like that's what you were doing in the past was hanging on by a thread and it's almost like spirit was like hang on just one second more if you could hang on one second more or a minute longer you could have everything you want <laughs> like just hang in there and you were hanging in there okay with the hanged one and the nine of wands yeah you were it was almost like you were down but you weren't out and your optimism and your belief in what was possible to attain kept you in this state of mind kept you with a really solid perspective on if i just hang in there for a little bit longer i know a breakthrough is coming you know what i'm saying call number one so i really feel like a breakthrough is coming in your life and spirit your angels and guides they're alluding to that in this reading all right um again with the hanged one that is pisces energy but we also have sagittarius energy in the center of this reading with the nine of wands all right but i'm getting optimism like your optimism is what's what has been keeping you afloat in the past now you're headed to calmer water so like that optimism has paid off all right so we have the three of pentacles and the queen of swords with the three of pentacles and the king of swords like i said hbic for those of you who don't understand what that means, I'm sorry, I'm chuckling right now because it's so funny. Um, but it's almost like a pop culture reference, or maybe not, but I got it from pop culture. I don't know if you guys uh, or you, anyone who's watching this reading, I don't know if you got uh, you all ever was familiar with like Flavor of Love or New York, you know, Tiffany Pollock or whatever, but she was like, I'm the HBIC, which is like the head B word in charge. Like I'm the head person in charge. I'm laying down the law basically, right? So with this three of pentacles and the queen of swords, it's just that you're the head person in charge. You, it's almost like people are going to be following your lead. Okay. People are going to be following your lead and you're getting your lead from source and your angels, ancestors, and guides. You're following your intuition and you're being directed to follow your intuition. And, um, whoever you're collaborating with or whoever you have been thinking about being in collaboration with, they're following your lead, but you're getting your orders from the most high. So everyone wins you know and it's 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 cohesive it's almost like people wouldn't even dare to and not because they are afraid of you or anything but it's like people sense that you are getting your knowledge or you're getting your direction from some some place higher than yourself it, this it's almost like it has nothing to do with you at the end of the day you're just following orders your, yourself Yeah, sorry about that, guys. So yeah, you're just following orders yourself, you know? Uh, a lot of you could be air signs, okay? Aqu I know, I think we're in Aquarius season, so that's interesting that this is coming up, but you're using your knowledge, you're using your wit, and you're using, um, yeah, really your intelligence to, to be a directive for other people. And you're not ordering people, you're just using your intellect your intelligence and your guidance from spirit to direct others and this is what you're being almost conditioned to do or you have been conditioned to do for while you're in this hangman position is what i'm getting with the king of wands and the three of swords in reverse you've healed you like you're like let's get the show on the road again leader energy you're leading something look at how this king of wands hold on let me pick these up pile number ones look at how this king of wands is again facing this three of pentacles you're leading something you're leading a group you're leading a um uh, a collaborative effort you you're you're leading because you're being led okay and then others are i feel like are following suit around you because they feel intuitively that you are being led like you're right about something okay and i i keep getting there is this cohesiveness like things are gonna be very symbiotic and very uh orderly yeah <laughs> they just are it's almost like people are not even gonna question you they're it's 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 really 
I keep getting cohesion. There's like this cohesiveness going on in this reading, pile number ones, okay? And with the three swords in reverse, yeah, people are not taking things to heart, okay? People are not taking things, their ego isn't, you know, at play here because I feel like whatever you're doing, it's something bigger than people it, or it's something bigger than one single person. It's about the collective, okay? Whatever it is that you're doing, you could be leading anything really, you know? But it's bigger than just one single entity, one single person. It's about the collective at large and the people you're working with, they understand that, okay? Especially with this Three of Swords in reverse. No one's gonna be taking anything to heart, okay? In that regards, almost like the four agreements, right? No one's gonna be taking anything personally. So with the Seven of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Wands in reverse, ex exactly, cohesion, okay? People are going to be looking to you for answers and guidance, period, pile number one. Period. Uh, people are going to be looking to you for answers, guidance, or your know-how. And it's almost like because you've gained this certain amount of enlightenment, and you're just going to be here chilling, just telling people what they need to do or the next step, right? It's almost like this person's like, well, what do I do now? Like, okay, well, I'm gathering all these things and I'm about to go forward and go drop them off somewhere. Well, what do I do now? And you're just going to be chilling, okay? Just completely led, completely enlightened on the topic. And it's almost like you don't even know where you're getting these answers from, but it's straight from source. It's straight from your angels and guides, okay? <clears throat> And it's interesting because we only have one major arcana and it's the hanged one in reverse. It's like you've, it's, it's almost like pile number ones, you've been through so much, this is a cakewalk to you. Whatever it is that you're, you're leading, whatever it is that you have been blessed enough to lead, it's like, it's like nothing to you. It's like a cakewalk, okay? So yeah, with the seven of swords and the 10 of wands both in reverse, it's effortless. Like you're going to be guiding people effortlessly, effortlessly. All right. And with the two of wands, two of swords, excuse me, the two of swords in reverse and the knight of wands. Yeah. It's going to be like one after the other, after the other, like your decision-making faculties are spot on right now. Pile number ones. Your decision-making faculty are spot on right now. You're extremely passionate. You're extremely I wouldn't even call this impulsive with the Knight of Wands. You're just extremely passionate and ready to go after what it is that you are doing in regards to this collaboration that you are you are finding yourself in, okay? This could be a collaboration with spirit. This could be a collaboration with your angels, ancestors, and guides are all three. This could be a collaboration with people around you at work um, in some form of business endeavor, it doesn't matter. This is just cohesion at its finest and you are leading the pack. You are leading everyone right now, okay? But it's because you are being led, pile number ones. Simply because you're being led and you're letting God, you're letting spirit, source energy take the lead and your angels, ancestors, and guides. You know, it's almost like you're just a tool. You're just like, <laughs> you're, you're just doing the leading of others because it's already been orchestrated from the most high. You, you understand what I'm saying? So let's pull some more cards, pile number ones. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Yeah, there's like a lot of manifestations occurring also. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. In regard to our pile number ones, what do you, what do you, the angels and guides want pile number one to know right now? What does pile number one need to know right now from spirit, angels, and guides? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow, okay. So yeah, card number 13, transformation. Yeah, it's like you've already went through some type of transformation and now you're spreading this to everybody else, all right? We have financial and material changes, card number five and it's interesting and i'll pull some more cards of course but it's interesting because i'm getting this whatever it is that you're leading it's about to make you very abundant 
okay? It's about to lead you to abundance and that is the financial and material changes that you are going to be experiencing, okay? Along with this, uh, with this leadership role that you have been thrusted into, all right? Tell me more spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages in regards to our pile number ones. What does spirit, angels, what does pile number one, spirit, spirit, angels, and guides want them in the right now, spirit? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Accelerated motion. You cannot make this up. So this is the eight of wands in this um, in this deck. All right. Accelerated motion. You're like a shooting star. This is what I'm getting. Okay. Eight of wands, knight of wands, very fast communication, very, very much so passionate in the things that you're doing and like the downloads that you're getting pile number one, and you're going for it. You're going for it. You know, you're taking all the energy that's being, that's being given to you right now by source, by spirit, by your angels, ancestors, and guides, and you're going with it. You're just like this shooting star. Okay. You're not letting anything, anyone get in your way and not in a bad way. And I'm not even getting like Knight of Swords energy. I'm getting like Knight of Wands. Like you're just passionate. You're you're ready. Okay. Tell me more spirit. One more card for our pile number one in regards to what you and the angels and guides want them to know right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One more card. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, what did I say? What did I say? All right. We have card number one, prosperity begins. Okay. This is bringing in so much prosperity. This is the financial material changes that you're going to be experiencing. Okay. Shmoney. <laughs> All right. Money, honey, abundance. Okay. And not even to use on yourself. Yeah, you're going to be able to use on yourself, of course, because spirit wants to reward you for, you know, everything that you're doing in regards to them, right? In regards to spirit, in regards to your uh, guides and angels. However, you're not just using it for you. All right. And I'm also getting a lot, like I was saying earlier, there's a lot of manifestations happening right now coming into fruition. And this is where this prosperity begins. And look, this transformation card, I don't know if you all can tell, but this is a butterfly. This this feminine aspect is turning into a butterfly and look at, uh, they're wearing a green shirt and there's green butterflies in this imagery. Transformation times 10 pile number ones, all right? And not to mention, this is like the Ace of Pentacles in this deck and y'all have the Ace of Pentacles right here. Y'all chose it, all right? Interestingly enough, I think Jupiter and Saturn that could be Mars right there. That could be Mars. I don't know, but it, I think it might be Jupiter. It looks like Jupiter because it's very gassy. Uh, but Jupiter and Saturn are in this imagery too. I think this has something to do. I'm getting like your debts are being paid. Like you've paid your dues. So now the things that you've been working on, they're now coming in like all at once. I've said this in another reading too are also pile number ones. I can't remember which one, but you know, if you guys want to go into that wormhole of my timeless readings, you're more than welcome to. But um, yeah, everything is coming into fruition right now for you. Right now. Right now. Uh, look, we have card number five at the bottom of the deck, throat chakra. You're very vocal. You're very intelligent. You're using your communication abilities to the best of your abilities and to your benefit. All right. Um, your throat chakra could just be moving like a well-oiled machine, okay? Your throat chakra, that's what I'm getting anyways, is moving like a well-oiled machine, okay? And you're able to communicate your butt off right now, all right? In the best ways possible, pile number ones. So let's pull some more cards. Let's see. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages in regards to our pile number one. What do you want to know? I mean, what does um, pile number one need to know in regards to their angels, their guides, and spirit? Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Oh, look, this just flipped over. It was like this and went boop. Okay, so we have wishbone affirmation. 
the wishes that you have the wishes that you have made the affirmations that you have been saying they're working think about it like some of you all might use scripting or you might write things down right i bet you i bet you money if you go back to like a journal or like maybe if you just keep a writing pad in your notebook or something like that go back to what you wrote that you wanted i bet you it's either has happened already or it's happening okay with this wishbone affirmation it's like what whatever it is that you're wanting right now whatever it is that you're affirming for your life is coming into fruition right now so it's almost like make a wish and and we have look this shooting star like make a wish make a wish because it's bound to come true right now i'm getting like this is a very fertile fertile energy or fertile moment in time thank you god thank you spirit what else do you want our pile number ones to know what else does their angels and guides want them to know spirit right now thank you thank you clear concise accurate messages Whoa. I promise you, you can't make this up. You guys seen this come out. We have fortune cookie fortuitous. I'm going to read to you this, um, this description of what this card says, because it's, it's chef's kiss. It's everything you would want to come across or to hear in a general reading, in a reading in general. All right. Okay. So we have the I Ching change again, prosperity. That's what's coming babies. <laughs> Prosperity, a lot of you all could be seeing 555 five, five a lot lately or have been in the prior weeks, right? Building up to this time. Um, let me pull one more card. One more card, Spirit. What do you want our pile number ones to know along with their angels and guides right now? Just one more card, Spirit. Thank you. <laughs> what the heck? What did I say? What did I say? We have double shooting freaking stars in this reading. We have accelerated mo like you guys seen this card come out. <laughs> shooting star confirmation accelerated motion. Like make a wish. Like come on. It's it's your time. It's your time, babes. It's your time, my loves. Y'all energy. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, I want to bottle it up and sell it. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Sheesh. I don't even know what else to say at this point. What, what is there to say? A lot of prosperity is coming your way. It's either happening now or it's literally around the corner, pile number ones. But again, I want to read you this fortune cookie card just because it's you guys deserve to, to listen to the beautiful words that are being bespoken <laughs> here on this card. Oh, one more thing. At the bottom of the deck, hold on, hold on. Clarity, crystal ball, what do you want? You have the power, the power lies in you and the power lies in the clarity that has been given to you from the most high, from source spirit, God, your higher self, whatever you wanna call it, angels, ancestors, and guides as well, okay? profound okay anywho so let's thank you all for being very patient with me i just want to get this card here we go let's pick this up Alrighty. so we have fortune cookie fortuitous something that has been hidden from you is now ready to be revealed and it's rather wonderful Good fortune is yours for the taking. Be on the lookout for the unexpected. Synchronicity is key. This is your moment, so don't be shy to show your achievements to the world. Be proud of your success and release any worries about what others may think. You could be their inspiration, exactly, leader, uh, or in a leadership role. This message marks a good omen for all involved, exactly. So enjoy every moment knowing you are totally blessed and will continue to be so as you put your all into everything you do, all right? So it says other divinatory meanings, a surprise is on its way, a big win is at your fingertips. Hello, you have the Midas touch right now, a chance meeting answers questions, 
a great offer will be made. Notice synchronistic occurrences. Help is at hand. This is your lucky break. Pile number ones. Whew, I'm getting the chills. I'm getting the chills, okay? All right, so I want to pull some more cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for blessing this deck. Blessing pile number ones and myself. What is it? Along with pile number one's angels and guides, what do they want them to know right, right now in this moment? Spirit, thank you, thank you, thank you. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones. What do you and their angels and guides want them to know right now? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, we have... Okay, I'm gonna pull one more card. So we have four of C's desires, okay? I feel like you've been desiring what's about to occur in your life for a minute. We have eight of cups depletion. I feel like even in the past, you could have been depleted by like, almost like everything you were putting into this manifestation. You know, it's like, like I was saying with the hangman energy, you're, optimism your natural optimism and your inspiration just about life in general was what's was allowing you to hang on by a thread this is what i'm getting like it was almost like right when you were feeling like do i have anything left to give does it even matter if this manifestation comes through boom you know everything all at once is coming in and it's like oh my gosh this is how you're gonna feel, like open, like your chakras are just gonna feel completely open. We have Sophia the wise woman. And even like what I was saying, pile number ones, you are being led by an energy that's higher than yourself. And that is being noted by the people around you, by even the people who you are perceivingly leading, right? And it's interesting because you are being used as a vessel right now, okay, to convey <clears throat> to convey spirit energy to not just you, <clears throat> but a collective, okay. And this is why all these blessings are occurring into your life. One more card, spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages, spirit, on what is it that you and uh, pile number one's angels and guides want them to know right now. Yeah, we have card number five, manipulation. And it's in it, it's so interesting. I don't know if I said this earlier, but I wanted to so bad. It's like Source is pulling, you're the puppet right now. You're being used as like a puppet and, and God, Spirit, is a puppeteer and you're being called to action to do this. Like, I'm not even thinking... So it says uh, five of earth manipulation, but I'm not even thinking about this in like a, oh, woe is me type of way or victim mentality type of way in which this card with the five of earth, which is the five of pentacles, that is kind of like the typical energy. I'm getting God is pulling the strings here and you're just acquiescing, you're just acquiescing to God's uh, orders, to spirit's orders, okay? And your angels, your guides, your higher self, you know, take it as it resonates. Beautiful. Look at again. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the king of pentacles. I, I'm a, I was almost shook because I thought it was the ace of pentacles. But yeah, we have the crone of earth, which is the king of pentacles. Ascension. You're ascending. And look at their throat chakra. It's all lit up with green and just abundance and prosperity this is one of the most beautiful cards in this deck to me um and it's at the bottom of it's at the bottom of the deck for you guys you know like this amazing energy per use per use um so i'm gonna use the what is this i think this is the ancient no what is this Sorry, I'm looking at which deck this is. Oh, the Wisdom of the Oracle. What advice, let me clear this up. What advice, Spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages from Pod Number One's Angels and Guides. And Spirit, what advice do you want Pod Number One's to know right now? Clear, concise, accurate advice in regards to what you want them to know right now. 
Okay, card number 12, a change in the wind. Tell me more, spirit. Clear, concise, accurate advice in regards to what you, the pile number one's angels and guys, want them to know right now, spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we have card number 12, a change in the wind. All right. Yeah, you're being led right now. You're being led. You're probably being led in an opposite direction than you thought. Or I won't say opposite, but in a different direction than you would have thought success was going to look like or feel like. But whatever direction it is, it's still the best direction because it's spirit's direction, you know? So we have card number 38, to be fair. Exactly. I feel like a lot of things are now going your way because you paid your dues, you know? truth and balance is being restored we have card number 14 truth be told exactly truth and balance are being restored i feel like you have acquired a lot of wisdom and grace okay and you're really doing this with an open heart whatever it is that you're doing pile number ones take it as it resonates but you're really doing this and succeeding in doing this with the open heart and check this out the queen or um yeah the queen on this depiction has an owl on top of their head and then the owl here and then we have the queen of swords this is also giving me queen of swords energy you're being led you're being given downloads of wisdom in order to do what it is that you're doing and we have the uh, last card all that glitters card number 16 and you're not doing it for the the recognition and so to speak just in that regard you're doing it because you're being led to do it and this is why all that glitters is in reverse you're being do you're doing it because you are being led to do it it's like you're being told to do it you're just following orders okay and then beautiful card at the bottom of the deck card number 47 going the distance you're almost there you're almost there and you're going for it you're going for it uh, this is just fantastic fantastic energy pile number ones per use okay so we're gonna pull the last cards what else what are the, what are the parting words or the last word of spirit that you want pile number ones to know in regards to what you the angels and their guides want them to know right now spirit thank you thank you thank you clear concise accurate messages okay we have card number well, there is no number. We have forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. I feel like you've had to do a lot of letting go. Also, with um, the hangman card, a lot of letting go, a lot of surrendering. Um, yeah, you've done that, okay? And this is why all these blessings are coming in as we speak. Tell me more, spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number one in regards to what you want them to know, including their angels and guides right now, spirit. What is pile number one's angels, guides, and your energy wants them to know right now, okay? We have denial. I, ex I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. And I love that because it's almost like living in a state of delusion has served you. And I don't mean delusion in like a oh, nothing that is relevant really matters. No, I'm getting like manifestation delusion. Like, no, this is just a minor obstacle and I'm going to do what it is in my heart and that I have the capacity to do, but I'm not going to let this haunt me. I'm not going to let it daunt me or I'm not going to let it um, make me drive me crazy or make me get out of what it is that I actually want, okay? Okay. Tell me more, spirit, for our pile number ones. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Whoa. Surrender. What did I say? Oh, my gosh. Surrender. I can release my need to control. Exactly. You've just been in a state of surrender, pile number ones. And this has served you massively. It's served, it's served you and it's serving you massively. All right. Last card. Last card. Last card, spirit. Last card, <laughs> last card, clear, concise, accurate messages. Last card for our pile number ones. Okay. Adversity. Okay, so we have, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. 
this is what I was getting earlier about hanging on by a thread. There's a saying, and I believe it's by Lewis, is it Lewis Carroll? Carol Lewis? I believe it's the person who wrote, ooh, is it the person who wrote Alice in Wonderland? I don't know. I have their book, hold on, in my library. Okay, I might edit this out because I have to know who this is. C.S. Lewis, sorry. So there is an author named C.S. Lewis and they have a saying that goes something like this. I might be paraphrasing, but like adversity breeds creativity. So without adversity, you wouldn't really know how to garner that creative strength or that creative juices because sometimes when we really need to like act and act fast, we have to get creative, right? And usually when we have to act and act fast, it's through challenge, okay? Or or even, yeah, challenge or, or, or certain perceived obstacles um, in, in, a, in a moment or in a circumstance, okay? So I feel as if whatever you have been through in the past has created this cre creativity within you and has been um, a conduit for you to be able to utilize that creativity and, and be able to flourish and be able to, um, have all these manifestations come in pile number ones as they're either have come in or about to come in like literally any day now, any day, I promise you. So, <laughs> So with that being said, pile number ones, I love you so much, my dreamy dreamers. Okay, if you like this reading, if you got anything out of this reading, please give this reading a big thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. I always love my pile number ones energy so much. You guys like really set me on the trajectory to continue these readings because, you know, it... It does take a good amount of effort, uh, you know, to do these, especially when you, you feel like you're channeling source energy, okay? So, again, I love you all so much, Pile Number Ones, and until next time, I'll see you in your readings. Bye. Hey, Pile Number Twos, welcome back to your reading. So, you all chose this beautiful carnelian stone, so there's no surprise that <laughs> you have this Ace of Wands or Ace of Cloves, or it's, it's not spades. Gosh, why can't I? It's either clovers or ace of wands basically if you guys remember the um the playing card version you know let me know in the comments but um i keep it keeps eluding me but anyway so hopping into your reading you, you i feel as if source energy um spirit your angels and guides want you to know how how Hey, pile number twos, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this beautiful carnelian stone, which is no surprise that it pairs lovely with this ace of wands or ace of cloves. Um, I don't remember the playing card version, um, kind of like sign of this. So you guys could definitely leave, leave it in the comments. But um, what I'm getting that spirit and your angels and guides want you to know right now is something in regards to movement. You're moving forward tenaciously in your life and I feel like you've been given uh, the strength and the capacity to do so. Also the inspiration and the guidance to do so, especially with this Ace of Wands here, okay? A lot of you could have came from pile number ones and if you didn't, you might have been, um, you might have been drawn to pile number ones as well, okay? I don't know why I was getting, getting that, but I, I am. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, if you wanna go after this reading, you wanna go peek at pile number one for like even just five minutes, definitely I would suggest that. If not, that's okay too. But let's hop straight into your, uh, into your reading, pile number two. <clears throat> Excuse me. So bottom of the deck, we have the death card. And I'm getting Scorpio energy, but I'm also getting 
you have wrapped up a cycle. You have left something, all right? Something is gone. This could have been the old you, okay? Or this could have been an old way of living. That's really what I'm getting here. And that's why I felt like you all were drawn to pile number ones as well, okay? So with this death card being at the bottom of the deck, I'm getting pile number twos, that spirit, your angels and guides want you to know right now, the old you is gone and this new you who is inspired who is passionate who is giving the world everything they have and more is being beckoned okay is 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 being called into fruition is taking form is what i'm getting all right Okay, so let's list off your cards. We have the Eight of Cups, we have the Ace of Cups in reverse, we have the Hanged One in reverse, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. So all these cards except for one are in reverse, all right? We have the Moon card, we have the Five of Cups, the Lovers, the Seven of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. So I'm getting, for some reason, pile number twos, I'm getting that there was something almost, this could have happened last year, this could have just, and I, I would say recently within the last, let's say 36 months, right? So from now, 36 months in the past, right? There could have been, there could have been a major shift that has taken place, right? Major shift that has taken place within your life, all right? That is leading you and that has been leading you towards your wildest dreams or your wildest manifestations, all right? Here at the center of the reading, we have the hanged one and the lovers. There was a decision that you have made or a choice that you have made. This could have been in regards to a soulmate connection. This could have been in regards to love. We do have the ace of cups in reverse and the lovers. Um, so this could have been in regards to love. But what I'm also really heavily getting, pile number twos, is with the hangman in reverse and the lovers, you made a choice that wasn't the easiest to make and now you're on the other side of that uh letting go process right i feel like you've let go and let god all right you're on the other side of that kind of quote unquote sacrifice because that is one of the meaning sacrifice surrender letting go you know take it as it resonates with you but you've let go of a lot and it's like you let go and then you let go some more and then you let go some more okay until now it was almost like you were you emptied your cup <clears throat> this is literally what's going on it was like you emptied your cup until you had nothing left right it's almost like think about a minimalist right like a minimalist whole ideology is to i guess have space for experience other than things that's what i'm getting i could totally be wrong but it's like they want to invite they want to value life and the experiences that life has to offer over just material things i'm also getting fight club in my head i don't know if you all know this movie with brad pitt and uh what's his name at edward norton um it's a book by chuck ah, I, I don't remember uh, his last name but um it's a book by this guy named chuck something and it turned into a movie in the 90s called fight club and edward norton was like a miserable guy in the movie and like but he worked whatever he worked like corporate or something like that in mediocrity and monotony for years only just to accumulate things to buy from ikea i think that was even like a thing in or a theme or like a thing in the movie like oh but i have all this stuff like straight from the catalog of ikea but he was miserable so like he joined this underground club where people would like fight each other literally bludgeon each other just so he could feel alive again now i'm not saying you're going through that by any means absolutely not but what i'm saying is that i was trying to give the contrast of like how someone would go to that depth of like just to feel alive again because they're working in mediocrity they're just the middle of the road type of situation and they feel like they're just accumulating things not memories or not like living life they're just they're just there to accumulate things okay sorry let me but yeah they're just there to accumulate things so 
okay, let me get back to the Ace of Cups. I kind of went on a tangent there, but <clears throat> with this Ace of Cups energy, it's like you poured everything out. You, you just emptied it all so you could be refilled again with newness, with new spontaneity, with new energy, with more life, with more inspiration, all right? And you did this willingly and knowingly. You knew what you were doing when you did this pile number twos. You absolutely did, especially with the five of cups in reverse. You didn't want to feel tied down, disappointed anymore. You just let it all go. You let it all go, okay? Here with the eight of cups, you were willingly being led to do this, okay? I feel like even with the moon card, you were facing your shadow self. You, you, you really confronted the things, the the things that were left in your closet, so to speak, right? The, the unsavory things that, you know, maybe you didn't want to address. You did it. You addressed it all. And I'm getting in a short period of time, but you came out of that. You came out of that. And now you came out of that more enlightened. You came out of that with a better, broader perspective, not just of yourself, but of the world at large, you know, uh, with more intuition, with a heightened intuition and more clarity about what it is that you want to do, where you're going and where you've been, you know. And in regards to the four of pentacles in reverse and the seven of wands, yeah, you just, you let it all go. <laughs> you let it all go. You've done a lot of healing with this nine of wands in reverse. You, you've done the healing work. And now you worked on yourself and not just yourself. You're working on yourself and you're self-actualizing. So I know there's a lot of entrepreneurs who follow this channel because I know there's a lot of tarot readers with their own um, YouTube channels or even people who are just like YouTubers in general who follow this channel. So you're an entrepreneur. Sorry if that's, if you don't like to be called that, or I would say you're an entrepreneur. You, you know, you have a business. If you're making money on YouTube, you have a business. So with that being said, there, there is a saying that the goal or the journey of entrepreneurship is one of self discovery and self growth and this is what i'm getting from pile number twos now not everyone might not be an entrepreneur not everyone even wants to be an entrepreneur some people thrive off of a collaborative effort that comes through a organization or um, a corporation that's amazing and that is there is a space for everyone but like i'm saying whether you're an entrepreneur or not, whether you have been working um, cohesively on yourself or on a cause or on a team or a purpose, you have been healing yourself. I, I think even unbeknownst to you, pile number twos, okay? And with that being said, again, to kind of like go back to the center of this reading, you've made decisions time and time again where you've had to let go and let go some more and you've stood up for your convictions, okay? You've stood up for yourself and your convictions on letting things go, okay? In the process of letting things go. Because for some reason, what I'm getting to, pile number one, pile no, what I'm getting as well, pile number two, is that you could have had family, friends, people close to you be like what are you doing like what is going on with you and you just kept going you kept going with this nine of wands you didn't give up and you you didn't give up the battle on working on yourself and working on your goals dreams ambitions this could have been again this could have been a business it's whatever but whatever it is you have worked methodically and you have um really taking your time to cultivate one thing and then another thing and then another thing even at the sacrifice of of maybe uh relationships or <clears throat> um going out all the time with friends or spending all your time with your friends like you do it now but it's now more in a cooperative effort that's going to both benefit you and them and it's going to be more in a collaborative effort like working on projects and stuff it's not just how it used to be <laughs> you know i have a feeling like even with this whole reading it's like you've grown up you've grown up okay so let's pull some more cards thank you god thank you spirit clear concise accurate messages for pile number two in regards to what is it that you want them to know in including their angels and guides spirit 
clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number two in regards to what? Okay, <laughs> again, wisdom. So pull some more cards. Wow, we have the Ace of Cups again. We have card number 20, Truth. Yeah, you've been awakened. We have an enlightening, so um, the hangman is enlightenment. We have, oh, hold on, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry. At the bottom of the deck, we have Passion Ignited, card number one. So this is basically the equivalent of the Ace of Wands in this deck. I'm gonna pull one more card. Tell me more, Spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages on what would you like our pile number twos to know along with their angels and guides. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're being so blessed and inundated with just prosperity now because you've you have been willing to let go and let go some more. You have poured your cup all out or you have extended yourself. Let's just say that you've extended yourself so much to the point where now things are pouring back into you. And look, we have card number one, love begins, which is the equivalent of the ace of cups and it's upright. And now people are helping you do this as well. You know, it's almost like the light at the end of the tunnel or that rainbow at the end of the whatever the, you know, <laughs> that rainbow that you've been searching for. We have card number five wisdom. Yeah, you've been teaching. You've been leading. You've been um, even cultivating a lot of knowledge and wisdom, you know, behind behind you and i feel like that wisdom has been coming from god spirit source energy your angels and guides all right you've been listening you've been listening to the truth to the truth okay we have card number 20 the truth yeah this the truth will set you free and the truth has set you free that's why you were so able and willing to just let everything go and let go some more okay this even could have been in regards to like travel or change you could have just said I'm just going to get up and go <laughs> somewhere, you know, that's not here. Okay. Yeah. But you, you're letting your truth out. You're speaking your truth with conviction, with tenacity, with inspired action. All right. Pile number um, twos. We also, uh, this is like the judgment card in this deck too. And it's, again, there's this like scale being weighed here, you know? And then again, you could have been seeing 11, 11, 1, 1, 1. We have two one cards and we have the ace of cups here. So yeah, like I was saying, you could have been seeing 1, 1, 1. And with the ace of uh, wands right here, uh, again, 1, 1, 1, 1, 11, 11. All right, could have been popping up in your lives very often or um, the angel number 1, 1, 1. But you're getting direct you're like you have like a direct communication with source and with your angels and guides right now period at the bottom of the deck we have card number seven choose wisely so this is like the equivalent of the seven of cups and you have i feel like you have it's almost like you have studied at the feet of the most high you know you have you have really let a lot go you've surrendered to god you surrendered to source you surrendered to spirit and you're being paid in dividends now okay and you're really going to be able to go either which way you set forth with full steam ahead and god spirit source energy your angels and guides are just uh, telling you choose wisely wherever you go you're going to be uh blessed and taken care of but just choose wisely because to whom much is given, much is required. All right, pile number twos. And you're being given a lot. You're being given love. You're being given material prosperity. You probably will, don't have to worry about anything on this material plane of existence. Your uh, emotional fulfillment is here and you have the opportunity to grab that emotional fulfillment by the horns and just really fill your cup back up as well as materially speaking as well. Okay, a lot of manifestations are coming into fruition uh that the of the seeds that you have planted all right and we have the ace of uh, the eight excuse me the eight of pentacles here <clears throat> along with the prosperity again wow <laughs> along with the prosperity begins card here all right so let's pull some more cards card number two let's pull some more cards thank you god thank you spirit for giving me clear concise accurate messages for our pile number twos in regards to what you um their angels and guides want them to know right now. Clear, 
concise, accurate messages for pile number twos. Wow, fire, spontaneity. Yeah, exactly. Like there's been a fire that has been lit in you that is going to burn eternally. I'm getting the initiates of the flame by Manly P. Hall, okay? We have Ouija board caution, okay? So just also take cautionary steps because you're gonna get a lot. What you're manifesting is, it's almost like, think about it like this. Think about if you won the lottery and out of nowhere, like you're living all right, you're paying, you're paying your rent, you're paying car note, you pay your internet, <laughs> you're eating, right? But you win the lottery and you win like millions of dollars. You're not, your head is gonna be spinning. A, you're not even gonna know what to do with everything because it's just coming all in at once. This is like what's happening for you, pile number twos. And it's spirit, your angels and guides are cautioning you to like always seek them, always seek their counsel before you make your next step. Okay, always be in a pray without ceasing, be in a constant state of prayer, be in a constant state of meditation, whatever that means for you. Meditation could be um, cleaning. Meditation could be literally clearing your mind or, or uh, um, letting the thoughts pass your mind for 15 to 20 minutes every morning. Meditation could be taking a walk, you know, but consult with your spiritual team, period, on everything that you do, okay? Because <clears throat> things, what I'm really getting to is things are going to be taking off from here on out. Things are going to be moving extremely fast. And it's almost like so fast, sometimes you might not be able to even hear your own thoughts, okay? So we have clouds at the bottom of the deck, mystical. Yeah, there, it's a lot of magic and mysticism happening right now. I'm getting that in this reading hard. Tell me more, spirit. What do you want pile number twos to know in regards to their, to you, their angels and guides? What do you want them to know right now? One more card, spirit. Thank you. Oh, we got three cards. Okay, so again, we have black cat, good luck, okay? Blessings are being bestowed upon you. Blessings are on your side, all right? And it's interesting because that portal that's opening looks like this fire portal that's opening too. Some of you all could be um, fire signs, water signs, earth signs, any sign really. <laughs> but um, those could be highly aspected in your chart. Again, we have wish. Again, we have wishbone affirmation. It's here. Your manifestations are here, pile number two. Okay. We have geomancy patience. You've been patiently waiting for this day to come and it's arrived. And then we have hydromancy illusion. Again, so I would definitely check out pile number one. Um, just because I'm getting a lot of the same messages as pile number one had. But well, hydromancy illusion, I keep getting like things are going to come at rapid speed and everything's going to look good on the surface. Just continue to consult with your spiritual team, with your angels, with your guides, with the most high, with your higher self, with God, period, in everything that you do and do this. I would do this. I would suggest doing it before bed because at the top of the morning, boom, you're going to get your answer. You know, you're going to, you're going to get your answer upon awakening. All right. So let's pull some more cards. Pile number two. Thank you. God. Thank you. Spirit for blessing instead. For giving me quick, concise, accurate messages. On what is it that I need to know? Clear, concise. Uh, what is it that I need to know in regards to pile number two? What do you want to tell them? What is their angels and guides want to tell them, Spirit? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, wow. Okay, so I'm not taking these cards. These just came out. The moon again. There's one card that fell. Yeah, a lot. Oh my goodness. So much is coming up. So look, these are all major arcanas. So we have Lilith with power card number four which is the emperor card here yeah you're leading you're leading an empire you could be building an empire right now pile number twos we have shell uh with the moon okay we have the moon card twice here double confirmation hey pile number two sorry about that so again like i was saying like double confirmation with the moon here and i think things are going to be moving so fast 
it's like you have to catch your breath, right? <laughs> you have to catch your breath. But I'm getting you all are even ready and anticipating this fast movement forward because I'm getting a lot of you could be uh, fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and or I'm getting you are evoking the energy of fire signs right now, all right? Let me pull one more card, especially with like this tenacity, like you're moving forward through your will, okay? Give me, uh, let me pull one more card. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages in regards to what pile number two needs to know. What uh, do you want to tell them, Spirit, and their angels and guides? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Okay. <laughs> Again, wow. We have four major arcanas in a row. We have the white buffalo calf woman, card number 11, which is sacred fire, which I believe is the strength card in this... Um, in yeah, this is the strength card in this um, in this deck because certain tarot cards, certain tarot decks, excuse me, they will oscillate between the strength card being card number eight and eleven, and vice versa uh, with the what is it called with the justice card. So, so in certain decks, justice will be number eight instead of eleven, and uh, strength will be number eleven instead of eight instead of eight so yeah we have sacred fire there's a fire burning inside of you right now you all could be leos as well or have leo highly aspected in your chart which is interesting because we have this ace of wands here which is a lion literally with this wand in its mouth almost like tamed like almost like it knows what to do with this wand in its mouth all right and it's like this sat yeah the sacred fire is burning in you we have fire here, spontaneity, and then we have sacred fire. Again, double confirmations, pile number two. Okay, so all major arcanas. This is major, pile number two. What's going on right now is complete and utter transformation. Okay, at the bottom of this deck, we have uh, the child of wind, consciousness. Your consciousness is being <laughs> just open to its capacity and i'm getting that you're having a childlike capacity to receive whatever is coming in from spirit from god from source energy from your angels and your guides right now you're just being led you're you're allowing this to come in unadulterated unfiltered okay so let's pull some more cards thank you god thank you spirit clear concise accurate messages in regards to <clears throat> excuse me in regards to what pile number two needs to know clear concise accurate messages in regards to what pile number two needs to know uh right now from you and their angels and guides spirit clear concise accurate messages thank you thank you thank you way too many cards i did see the emperor energy peeking out though tell me more spirit tell me more thank you wow period period blessed period that's all you need to know card number 22 you could be seeing 22 a lot or 222 a lot lately and when it in regards to 222 it's a master number so 111 222 and 333 are the only master numbers and 222 stands for the master builder you have been building and constructing something and this is why you have the capacity either last year or for the uh, last prior years to just let go what no longer served you or what you didn't need anymore, okay? To let the new in, to let these blessings pour into you, pile number twos. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos. What else do you want them to know along with their angels and guides? Yeah, never ending story, card number 37. You let go of this never ending story, okay? You let go of this victimhood and this victim mentality, even whereas people around you couldn't let that go. So you you said, okay, since you can't, I will. Uh, I'm gonna have to do that and sacrifice uh, this for the time being, okay? Thank you, God, thank you, Spirit. Tell me more, clear, concise, accurate messages, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What else does our pile number twos need to know in regards to what you want them to know, including their angels and guides? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Two more cards, spirit. One more card. Okay. 
<laughs> look at what's at the bottom of the deck higher power card number four you all could be seeing a lot of angel numbers a lot of divine synchronicities right now you could be seeing one 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 two 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 and more specifically the number four a lot or four 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 some of you all could have been born on the fourth month again i'm getting like april babies you all could have been born on the fourth day or the number four could just resonate with you it could just resonate with you deeply all right but again god god itself okay the omnipotent uh the higher power the source energy it's st talking straight directly to you pile number pile number twos all right so let's see what other cards you have here yeah you have card number 42 chopped chop wood you've been doing that you've been working and toiling the, the soil day in and day out for the past couple years and it's almost like you've been doing it so methodically you haven't even really taken you haven't taken measure of it it's just been happening you've been letting source energy work through you okay and you've just been doing it step by step whatever you have to do you finish one step boom what's the next step you finish that step boom what's the next what's the next step okay and it's all just been working in accordance to God's plan, to source's plan, to spirit's plan, okay? We have card number 34, a leg up. You all could be seeing number 34 a lot lately. 34 has been coming up a lot for me, I will say. But um, I'm getting that uh, a multitude of you could be seeing number 34 or the number 7, okay? 3 and 4. Uh, added together that's number seven you could be seeing seven 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 a lot lately but spirit is giving you a leg up spirit is like okay you've done 20 percent of the work say no more i'm gonna do 80 percent. i'm gonna do the rest just put it on my back put it on my shoulders okay and you're being given this leg up because you've done the work you followed the course that was given to you all right okay so let's pull some more cards Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Final messages for our pile number twos in regards to what is it that you, the angels and guides, want them to know right now, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos in regards to what are the final messages, words of advice, guidances that you, pile number twos, angels and guides, want them to know right now. Thank you, thank you, thank you again we have death card we have death at the bottom of the deck you're renewed okay i am learning that endings are merely beginnings exactly it's almost like you had to do a whole reset like imagine if you if something happened to your laptop and you literally had to do like a, a what is it called i think it's called like a software reset or something like that like a hard reset and you did it and because you were willing to do it you know, because certain people are very afraid of change and they will stall every fiber in their being to do this reset. And you were just like, just do it. It was like, pull off, pull off the Band-Aid already and just do it. And you did it. And now you're being vindicated and now you're reaping the rewards for this hard reset that you, that spirit and uh, your angels and guides led you to do okay again surrender go check out pile number ones please go check out pile number ones pile number twos even if it's just for five minutes we have surrender i can release my need to control because you know ultimately you only control a fraction of what's going on uh, uh and god controls the rest spirit controls the rest and you're fine with that you're okay with that all right because that's really how it is and you control the things that you are able that you are humanly possible that you are hu that you have in your human capacity excuse me to control and then i have a feeling that you now more than ever have been willing and able to just give the rest to god and this is why all this fortuitous energy is coming into your life right now pile number twos tell me more spirit last messages for our pile number twos in regards to what you want them to know and their angels and guides. Thank you. Okay, so we have relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good, exactly. You know you can't do this alone. You know you cannot work at this alone. And along with the uh, cooperation and the guidance from your spiritual team, which includes Source, 
uh, your angels, guides, ancestors, whatever you want to call them, your higher self, and with the people here on earth, your family, your friends, your loved ones, your, your, um, your coworkers, whoever that may be that operates with symbioticness and simplicity and it's just cohesiveness, right? Okay, again, we have indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life, period. Period, pile number twos. Continue to seek refuge and seek answers from your subconscious mind, which in essence is that extension of source energy that's within every last one of us, okay? Continue to seek those answers, all right? And you'll always be met. You'll always be met with the correct answer, okay? You'll always be met with the right answer, all right? And there, I feel like there's no more indecision. You are, please check out pile number ones, even if it's just for like two, three minutes, even if you just gotta take a glance at the cards and be like, okay. But yeah, so um, yeah, you are, you have really fine-tuned and sharpened your decision-making faculties, pile number twos. Okay, you really have. And with that being said, pile number twos, I love you guys so much. You all have a very rich understanding of what it means to let go and let God. And for that, I'm honored to even be able to read for people like that. Um, but um, in any case, if you like this reading, if it gave you any, any source of um, inspiration or any source of even just like an intuitive nudge to do something, Thank you so much. Please like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, friends, family, or anyone else who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. Again, pile number twos, I love you so much. And until next time, I'll see you next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number threes. So you all chose this really beautiful Unikite Jasper crystal, okay? And you all chose this Ace of Cups. So in regards to what spirit um your angels and guides want you to know right now this would definitely be i'm getting like i was getting keep an open mind i don't know why but i was also getting like your cup is about to be filled up to the brim okay your cup is about to be filled up to the brim here with the ace of cups it's interesting too because there's a little fish peeking out here i don't i don't think i've ever seen that before but there's a little fish peeking out here so some of you guys could be uh, a pisces some of you guys could be dealing with the pisces or you guys could be water signs pisces cancer scorpio okay take that as it resonates but yeah, like your cup is about to be filled up to the brim. There is emotional fulfillment coming your way. There's happiness. There's better days. There's better times literally headed straight for you. Okay. And it's going to fill your cup up just so you, just so you have more to offer to others, you know, as well as yourself. Okay. With this ace of cups here so let's delve into your reading pile number threes we have actually an extra card came out for you all we have the queen of wands all right so like i was even suggesting some of you guys could be pisces or some of you guys could be uh fire signs um aries leo sagittarius okay but it's almost like this vivacity to you like this vivacious energy right this get it done can do spirit that's coming your way or that you're embodying right now okay you could feel very sexy or just very like just very into yourself or just feel like you can do anything you set your mind to and you could do it looking damn good okay <laughs> Um, your intuition could be extremely heightened right now, especially with the black cat at the feet of the queen of wands. Okay. This could be male or female. I'm reading for energies and you just, you have this very optimistic spirit about your nature, right? Here with the queen of wands, uh, holding the sunflower in their hand. They're always looking towards the sun, this, uh, especially with the symbolism of the sunflower. The sunflower grows towards the sun, of course. So with that being said, you as a person, your nature is always that in, uh, rooted in optimism and light and uh, delivery. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like you're you're the deliverer. You, you, you're the closer. You get things done, okay? 
at the bottom of the deck here again fire energy i'm getting sagittarius energy all right temperance like you get things done but you're also balanced like you know you 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 fill yourself but you are very humble also at the same time it's it's interesting what i'm getting i feel like you always keep you know almost like one foot planted on earth so you just you know that you're grounded and then one foot in the waters um in regards to your emotional depth okay you allow um, you allow the time and you allow the space for yourself and for others to express your emotions, right? And you're always alchemizing something. You're always cooking up something, okay? This could be a project, a collaboration, but you're always like, you're an alchemist, period, pile number threes. You're a freaking alchemist. And again, with the sunflowers and the car and the uh, sun rising through the mountain peaks in the background of this imagery of this of this temperance card okay you could literally be like a walking earth angel okay always there when needed you know even if you even if you don't realize it like even in people's like like let's say uh you call a friend and you're like hey you know what are you doing and then they're probably usually always going to be like oh my gosh i was just thinking about you or you called right in the nick of time i really needed to talk to you about uh a b or c and then you're like wow like that always happens to a person like you pile number three okay a lot of synchronicities a lot of uh divinity a lot of grace that you exude to the world <clears throat> okay, so let's list off your cards. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse, we have the Strength card, the Four of Cups, the Seven of Wands in reverse, we have the Knight of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the King of Cups in reverse, and then the Eight of Cups. So again, pile number threes, in the center of the reading, we have the Nine of Swords and the Eight of Wands. I have a feeling a lot of things that you have been worried about or overly anxious about, they're dissipating now, okay? Um, like I was suggesting with this Ace of Cups cards, like better times, better days are ahead and they're moving in to you quickly, right? They're moving into you quickly and I feel like you're not able to see that, all right? You're transmuting this Nine of Swords energy, pile number three, into learning, into growing, into cultivating, into planting seeds in the things that you want to prosper, in the things that you want to bloom, right? Uh, okay, because I can't ignore the page of pentacles is right next to the nine of pentacles and the nine of pentacles was the first card out um, in this deck and in tarot, I feel and I know a lot of other uh, readers feel the first card out is the strongest energy and it was the nine of pentacles. Okay, again, I'm getting with this nine of pentacles and even this queen of wands like self-sufficiency to the max. You're garnering self-sufficiency to the max, independence, okay? Even lux luxor, okay? Luxury, you know? To the max. You could take care of yourself and then some, okay? You could take care of yourself and you could help others while doing so. And it's almost like that's, that's the cherry on top. That's what's also offering you emotional fulfillment at this time with this ace of cups here right but you're still learning you're still growing you're still cultivating and it's almost like you're still learning how to continuously transmute these thoughts so that they work for you okay that's really what i'm getting here so let's go back to the nine of pentacles and the seven of wands again yeah it's like what i'm getting is like you're defending your spot you're defending your independence you're defending this position as the nine of wands okay you've worked hard for this right and i'm also getting you are beginning to let your guard down in regards to your independence it's almost like you you want to let your independence be known okay this could be to a specific authority figure as well this could be to a parent this could be to a spouse this could be to a boss but you're letting your you know authority you're you're letting your own autonomy be known right now pile number three and that's what's fulfilling you 
you know, I feel like you've cultivated such a beautiful existence around you. You've cultivated your own garden, right? And you just want to continue to iterate that to people and protect it at all costs. And I don't blame you. I promise you, I do not blame you. And spirit doesn't blame you. Your angels and guys don't blame you. They're saying, do that. <laughs> okay. We have the page of pentacles and the knight of swords. Yeah, exactly. The knight of swords is charging into the seven of wands. Like, I'm also going to come and help you with this and protect you with this. Okay. This could be an external person from you. This could just be your thoughts. Like, yeah, I'm definitely on the way to come. Um, yeah, to come secure this position as the knight of as the nine excuse me number nine of pentacles okay and you're just planting seeds on how you're going to execute this how you're going to do this like i'm also getting there there could be a lot of rapid fire thoughts at this time with the eight of wands right next to this knight of swords um however you're transmuting them very gracefully pile number threes all right and then we have the strength card and the king of cups, right? So we have, again, with this fire energy, we have Leo, okay? Some of you all could be Leo. You don't have to be, but, you know, I just wanted to put that out there. But God, spirit, source, energy, your angels and guides want you to know right now, pile number three, is how protected and guided you are, okay? It's almost like you could do no wrong in their eyes. You can do no wrong in their eyes, pile number three. They love you, they cherish you, and they're protecting you every way forward. It's almost like they're giving you the inner strength and the inner capacity to transmute these rapid fire thoughts, these um, even sleepless nights during some days to transmute this energy, right? And to make it, turn it into gold, right? Plant seeds of prosperity, plant seeds of love, plant seeds of hope in your mind instead of the, the, um, the latter, okay? And then we have, yeah, like I was saying, we have strength in the King of Cups in reverse, yeah. So um, exactly with the strength card, like God, spirit, your, uh, your higher self, your angels and guides, I want you to know right now, like all is well. You have the inner strength, you have the inner capacity to, you know, do it, it, do what it is that you need to do. And even at times where, where you might feel emotionally vulnerable, you're still strengthened. Okay. You're still strengthened. Okay. And then we have the four cups and then the eight of cups. Interesting. Cause we have four and then it hops right to eight and I'm getting like divided by two or multiply times two so literally like it's almost like you have quantum leaped from this four of cups to this eight of cups you're leaving you're leaving the situation behind whatever this is this king of cups energy this could be a person pisces cancer scorpio okay this could have been where i was getting that pisces cancer scorpio energy from if you are a fire sign or if you're a water sign you could just be leaving behind this emotional masquerade like you know, the emotional face that you put on just to bear the world, you might be releasing some vulnerabilities at this time, but spirit, source energy, your angels and guides want you to know that's okay. Like you've earned it. You deserve it. You have this capacity to do that right now and to transmute that energy into what you want it to be, right? But with the four of cups, I'm getting Cancerian vibes, like the zodiac sign cancer, uh, with the king of cups and the four of cups because this is like double confirmation on a cancer so there could be a cancer in your life two pile number threes um but yeah with the four of cups and the eight of cups it's like something that was being offered to you you could be hmm you could be faced with a decision or an opportunity to go into greener pastures and maybe even turn down something that's being offered to you for something better is what i'm getting i kind of want to clarify this four of cups and i will thank you god thank you spirit for giving uh thank you god thank you spirit, for cleansing this deck for blessing it giving me divine guidance wisdom and insight why is this four of cups here spirit for pile number threes why is this four of cups here for pile number three spirit thank you thank you thank you why is this four of cups here for whoa, too many cards? One more card. Why is this four of cups here for pile number three? Sit, yeah. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit, all right? And then we have the Six of Pentacles. You guys seen that kind of... The Page of Pentacles again. And then we have the Page of Cups. Interesting. <sighs> okay, so, okay. Pile number threes. When it comes to this Four of Cups, it's almost like you interesting we have a page of pentacles and a page of cups this page of pentacles is giving this page of cups their cup and then this page of cups is looking into this i mean the page of pentacles is giving the page of cups their pentacle right and this page of cups is looking in the, their cup almost intuitively like should we take this offer <laughs> okay that's what i'm getting should we take this offer? Is it worth, is the juice worth the squeeze? Okay. And then we have the six of pentacles. So it's almost like there's something blossoming here. This could be a partnership, right? With, um, a Virgo because we have the hermit at the bottom of the deck and we have the page of pentacles. Doesn't have to be right. Take it as if it resonates or as it resonates, but there could be a potential offer here or an exchange of sorts is definitely an exchange going on between a fire, I mean, between an earth sign and a water sign or um, something material in exchange for something emotional, right? And it, it, I feel like with the four of cups here, it's almost like you don't know if it's worth the exchange. You don't know if it's worth the exchange, pile number four, pile number threes. Because with the four of cups, it's like you almost want to reject this. You, you, you're like, spirit is giving this to you, but it's almost like, uh, I don't know, I'm over it, right? With the four of cups here. And then with these three clarifiers, it's like, eh, I don't know if I want to accept this. I don't know if I'm willing to exchange my emotions for this material offer but it's very small it's at the conception stage because we have the pages here but it looks like you're about to walk away from it like i don't even think maybe you don't think it's balanced enough maybe you don't think you're getting enough out of it or vice versa but that's what i'm seeing for the four of cups so whatever cup is being offered to you at this present moment pile number three is you're walking away from it because you know that there's something better out there. Spirit, your angels and guides are telling you right now, even if you don't take this cup, that's fine. <laughs> there's something better for you out there. And you know that, and you're literally the Eight of Cups is a portal card and you're going into that portal, into the unknown, you're traveling, you could be traveling soon, you could be making traveling plans soon, okay? You could be going overseas. Um, but you're making that that choice, all right? So let's pull some more cards for my lovely pile number threes. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Tell us more, Spirit, for pile number threes. Tell us more clear, concise, accurate messages in regards to our pile number threes. What does Spirit want them to know along with their angels and guides right now? Well, yeah, patience and planning, like I said pile number threes <laughs> okay card number seven you guys could be seeing seven 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 a lot lately but you've been patiently waiting to go somewhere that's what i'm getting you've been patiently waiting to go somewhere okay you've waited seasons too you've been planning this for for a minute okay but now you're gonna get the opportunity to execute in your travel plans that's what i'm getting Okay, we have card number 12, sacrifice, period. I'm getting Pisces. I'm getting Pisces energy. I just am. Okay, a lot of you all can be Pisces or have a, a lot of Pisces placement in your chart or Pisces highly aspected in your chart. Um, Pisces risings or Pisces moons. Um, but yeah, I'm getting a lot of emotion and a lot of emotional depth coming from this pile. Um, but you're ready. You're ready to delve into the unknown. You're ready to delve into uncharted territories. Okay. Looking good. Feeling fresh. Feeling liberated. Pile number threes. Okay. You're just ready to surrender it all and like almost free fall into the unknown. That's what I'm getting. You know, 
And this could be overseas because look, this person is in water. This person is in water and it's almost like they're traveling. Oop, tell me more spirit. Tell me more clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes in regards to what the spirit wants them to know right now. One more card spirit from this deck. What is spirit, their angels and guides want them to know right now. Yeah, you're ready. You're so open. Card number four, heart shocker. You're just, I'm, <laughs> I don't know if you guys uh, remember that song by India Ari, Ready to Love. I have not thought of that song in such a long time. Uh, I don't even know if you all know who India Ari is. She's like a songstress from like late 90s, early 2000s. She was nominated for a lot of Grammys back in her day too. And she has a song called I'm Ready to Love. I don't know why I got that with the heart chakra. Like literally, as soon as I saw this card, that, that song popped into my head. So if you guys want to go check that song out, uh, India Ari, um, Ready to Love. It's, it's a touching, touching song. <laughs> okay. Um, here with this mental conflict in reverse in the heart chakra, you're no longer planning you're no longer waiting you're very decisive you know what you want um you, and you're going after it tenaciously like i was saying like the queen of wands would you're going after what you want tenaciously with vigor with with just emotions but also like fervor like also passion you know you're very passionate at this time and your heart is open babes your heart is open bottom of the deck we have card number 10 destiny again look at this green look at how she's like her her um hands are over her heart her she's ready to venture into this they're ready to venture into this heart fully gaped open okay just gaped open and that was that vulnerability that's coming out but vulnerability is a superpower i don't care what anybody says pile number threes vulnerability is a superpower trust me okay let's pull some more cards my loves tell me more spirit thank you god thank you spirit for cleansing and blessing this deck for providing your divine guidance wisdom and insight into what our pile number threes need to know at this time spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number threes uh what do you want them to know along with their angels and guides spirit clear concise accurate messages thank you uh, look black cat good luck blessed blessed be blessed <laughs> blessed luck okay um you're protected you're protected you're guided you're you're in in engulfed in presence of source and spirit and your angels and guides right now and you're just protected it's almost like you can do no wrong everything you touch turns to gold take this opportunity babes take this opportunity you're protected you're guided period again at the bottom of the deck we have astrology destiny i just had to show you guys that because come on twice all right tell me more spirit you're protected you're covered in your destiny just just go just proceed you're covered, okay? Tell me more, spirit. What else do you want pile number threes to know along with their angels and gods? Spirit, thank you, thank you, thank you. Look, runes perception. Again, hangman energy. Change your perception, change your world. Change your perception, change your life. You know, you could be looking at something through a whole new lens or perspective right now. And it's, it's giving you that clarity, right? It's giving you that mental clarity instead of mental conflict. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse and the and uh, the Two of Swords, the mental conflict card in reverse. You're coming out of that. That's in the past. Look, at the bottom of the deck, we have Arrow Focus because you're very focused right now. You know what you want, so you're going to go about it no matter what, pile number threes. And Spirit is guiding you in this decision in these endeavors in this adventure period pile number threes tell me more spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number three spirit thank you thank you thank you what does their angels and guides want them to know thank you thank you thank you 
look, Oracle wisdom, you are the Oracle. You've been endowed with this wisdom of, of, of the people before you. It's so funny because I always use, um, you're standing on the shoulders of giants, right? And that means your angels and ancestors and guides, right? People who have came before you. And it's like, even during the nighttime while you sleep, they're whispering sweet memories and nothings in your ears when it comes to this, these wis this wisdom, this ancient wisdom. And it's just always iterating to you and con constant reiteration. You're on the right path. You're doing the right thing. It's like, that's why everything's going so smoothly now because it's like, it's just constant confirmation. I'm getting constant confirmation, double C's, okay? Huh. Constant confirmation that you're on the right path because your heart is filled. It's like you can do whatever you're doing or go about whatever you're going about with in your sleep. Like you just feel so alive when you're doing it, okay? Or the thought of doing this just brings you into a state of like that you've never been before. We have smoke prayers. Your freaking, your prayers are being answered, pile number threes. They have God, spirit, uh, your angels, your guides have heard your cries, so to speak, right? Just your, your wants, okay? Your wishes, your commands, all right? And they're being fulfilled. They're being fulfilled, my dears. They're being freaking fulfilled. This is awesome energy, okay? Because you, you bet on yourself and you won, pile number threes. You bet on yourself and you won with Dice Gamble, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, babies. You won. You won, my loves. I'm so proud of you. Whew, child. It's like you learned the game of life and how to play it. I don't know if you all are familiar with this book called The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Goval Shin. That's one of my favorite book. That's one of my favorite books. It's transformed my life for the better and it's a go-to. I always go back to it and listen to it time and time and time again. And without fail, it never ceases to increase my vibration and to keep me at the vibratory nature of manifestation, of my manifestations coming in constant, rapid. Okay. I would definitely suggest the book. I know I have um, a book club playlist. You guys should go check it out. It, free audio books on YouTube as well. So it's in my book club playlist, okay? So if you guys just wanna to listen to it one day, it will forever change your life, I promise you, if you aren't aware of it, okay? So let's pull some more cards, pal. Number three. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. What else does our pile number three need to know in more depth, Spirit? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. In more depth. What advice do you want to give our pile number threes in regards to what you want them to know, including their angels and guides? What advice? Thank you. Oh, come on. We have... The nine of C's, Joy, Jupiter, and Pisces. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look, this is, a, she is on a dolphin in the air with the sun out and her body out, <laughs> okay? Hair flowing in the wind, all right? Excellent energy. This is like the nine of cups. What do you want? Your wish is God's command. Your wish is your angels and guides command at this point. I was getting a lot of uh, a lot of Pisces energy. We're currently in the astrological transit of Jupiter and Pisces. So I know a lot of mutable signs or I know the mutable signs, Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces. Who's the other mutable sign? Oh my gosh. Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces, and Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces. Uh, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. And there's a, 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 another sign, it's eluding me right now, but we're all kind of basking in that energy and that grace of Jupiter because it's, it's mutability, right? So we're, it's almost like when you think about mutable signs, it's like a chameleon being able to acquiesce 
into the energies that are at play at the time that they're at play, right? So wait, Gemini, Sagittarius, oh, Virgo. Virgo is the other mutable sign. <clears throat> Okay, so yeah, and then we have the eight of wind confusion, but you're leaving this behind. Oh, sorry. Uh, also, we have the white buffalo calf woman, sacred fire. So yeah, we have card number 11. This is Leo energy. So this is like the strength card. Again, we have the strength card twice. <laughs> Let me pull one more card in regards to advice spirit that the angels and guides want pile number, number three to know. Look, we have the mother of earth, birth. You're birthing something beautiful into this world. You're birthing something beautiful into this world right now, pile number threes. And God and your angels and guides want you to do it. Just no holds bar, so to speak. Do it with joy, do it with optimism, do it with curiosity, do it with aliveness in your heart and funness in your heart with this nine of cups because it's your time to do it now you don't have to worry about a thing look we have jupiter we have jupiter and gemini too that's funny because i said mutable signs gemini is one of the mutable signs so that's interesting um and virgo is one of the mutable signs and this is uh virgo energy too that's interesting but yeah you're birthing something into creation here this could be a project this could be a business this could be an opportunity but take it because you're being led by spirit. You're being led by spirit because you have this sacred fire underneath you that's fueling you every step of the way. Okay, that's your advice. Go, go for it. You don't need to have any confusion about your path now because it's your destiny. It's your time to shine. Bottom of the deck, we have Uz Uzumi the Fool. Period. Pile number threes. It's your time to shine. Free falling into the unknown. Dance like nobody's watching, so to speak, okay? And look, Uzumi's wearing all green. This is a nice outfit too. So <laughs> Uzumi is wearing all green, okay? Her heart chakra is open, fully open, at full capacity right now. Beautiful energy. And then even with this uh, Mother of Earth card, birth, green. A lot of heart chakra energy, a lot of heart chakra cleansing in the past, and a lot of blooming of this heart chakra, right? And this emotional depth. Okay, so let's end your reading. Um, pile number threes. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Last messages for our pile number threes from Spirit, their angels, and guides. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What do you want them to know? Last messages, Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Exactly. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me more. Okay, we have self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Okay, I feel like you're no longer doubting your self-worth. You've cultivated a lot of self-worth over the years. And I also feel like that's why your heart chakra is opening. There's, it's almost like you're reintroducing yourself into vulnerability, pile number threes. And it's looking divine on you, okay? But vulnerabilities to the right people and in the right situations, okay? Tell me more, spirit. Last messages for our pile number threes. Thank you. Patience. Yeah, definitely a lot of things under grace right now. Under grace and in perfect ways is what I'm getting, right? Everything always under grace and in perfect ways, right? That's like a prayer to patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Exactly. You're very graceful right now, just almost like a ballerina. I'm getting dancer. Yeah, even with that Uzumi card at the bottom of the deck, like she was dancing, like I'm getting dancer. Like you're graceful like a dancer. One more card, Spirit, to end pile number three's reading. One more card. One more card. Growth, love to see it, pile number threes. Love to see it, my babies. So growth, I want to expand my consciousness and awareness and you, you're doing that and you've done that. And you're also expanding your heart in the meantime. You're also expanding to a new height of emotional depth 
that I don't think you ever you did you thought you would be able to see. Okay, you're you're very in touch and in tune with your emotions right now. You could be crying a lot too, just out of like thank God. Like it's interesting because there's a song called All the Stars and uh, SZA, it's uh, SZA and Kendrick Lamar. And SZA's like, I just cry for no reason. I just pray for no reason. And this is what I get with patience and growth, like just grace and just, uh, I'm crying because I'm happy, but I find myself crying all the time because I just, I'm just it, one with spirit. Like I just feel blessed all the time, <laughs> you know? So with that being said, my pile number threes, I love you guys so much. You never cease to amaze me with your energy, with your love and your kindness that exudes from your pile. Um, you're always a part of, you always allow your emotional depth to kind of take center stage. And I love that about your pile, uh, pile number three. So in regards to that, if you liked this message, if it brought you any source of value or entertainment in the slightest, please give this reading a big thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, share this content with loved ones, friends, family, or anyone else who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. Again, pile number three is I love you guys so much. Until next time, my dreamy dreamers, I'll see you in your next readings. Bye. Hey, pile number fours, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this beautiful labradorite crystal, okay? So with this, this could be a time of awakening for you and transformation, okay? You are transmuting a lot of energies through your third eye is also what I'm getting. And you guys chose this Ace of Swords card, okay? Again, we have this triangle with the all-seeing eye in the center. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but it's in the center of the sword. There's clarity coming in for you, and there's like, you're gaining clarity with your third eye. It's like your third eye chakra is being um, expanded right now, right? And that's giving you a sense of precision and focus, okay? Razor-like razor focus is what I'm getting, okay? So let's hop into your reading. We have, again, <laughs> the Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So I, what I'm getting, pile number fours, is what spirit and your angels and guides want you, want you to know right now is that something is coming to the forefront, there's like an epiphany happening. You're having some type of aha moment or a wait. Like I was saying, you're being awakened to something. And it's interesting because we have a judgment card here, but we'll get to that. But you're being awakened to something like, it's almost like you <laughs> you are being endowed with clarity about a particular situation. And this could be in work, okay? Uh, with this Ace of Swords at the bottom of the deck as well. But whatever it is, you're going to have victory on what to do about this situation, okay? So let's hop into your reading. So we have the Six of Swords. We have the Four of Cups in reverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles, Will of Fortune, and Justice in reverse. We have Ten of Wands, Knight of Wands, uh, Judgment in reverse, the Devil. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So focusing in on the center of the reading, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Judgment card in reverse. And it's almost like... I feel like you're gaining more clarity, pile number fours, and spirit and your angels and guides wants you to want you to know about like this decision making, like your discernment when it comes to maybe working in a group or something, because there's a whole bunch of people in this card and then this person just working on their own alone and it's almost like I feel like you've been working independently on something for so long. You're just now getting almost like your your feet wet, like back into the groove of working with others, okay? Um, I feel like even at times you might question this, like, oh, can I do this? Is this the right thing? But you can, all right? Uh, I feel like spirit, God, your, uh, your angels, um, and your guides are protecting you right now. So always call upon them just to ask for favor and grace in the situation, especially when you're making decisions and you have to use other people. You have to keep other people in mind when it comes 
to, when it comes to those decisions that you're making, okay? Because I have a feeling that you will, especially if you're working in a collaborative effort with something. And you know what? You can't do everything by yourself. I just seen 4444 on the clock, pile number four. So you guys are pile number four. So divine synchronicity. Call on your angels and guides and always ask for assistance. They're there around the clock. It's like a, it's like a 24 hour hotline, okay? <laughs> so never be afraid to do that. Okie doke. So we have the six of swords and the 10 of wands. Yeah. Like your guides are literally telling you pile number four, like, look, you don't have to do this alone. I'm going to, you don't have to do this alone. You don't have to carry the burden all by yourself. Like ease your mind. Like with the six of swords, Mentally, you're going into calmer waters, but it's almost like you're carrying this, yeah. Or it seems as if maybe even on the physical or on the 3D, you're like proceeding to carry this burden by yourself when you don't have to. And it's like whatever it is that you're doing, you are, you're almost there. You're almost done. It's almost wrapped up. But it's interesting because both of these people, all three of these people have their back turned. It's like something like you're not facing something. I don't know. Or like something's not being faced. Maybe a hard dis, uh, conversation or something. I'm going to get more clarity on these cards. The Ten of Wands in, in specific. Because it's funny that we have the Six of Swords here. And then the Ten of Wands underneath. So it's like I'm getting you're being alleviated of this burdensome time. Uh, spirit, your angels and guides want you to know that you can lighten your load. That's what I'm getting, but I do want to clarify that Ten of Wands, okay? We have Four Cups in Reverse and then the Knight of Wands. Yeah, this Knight of Wands is like running towards this Ten of Wands almost maybe. Okay, this could go one in two situations. To help them with this um, burden or to, it almost feels like this Knight of Wands is coming in and putting more on their load. You know what I'm saying? Um, this could be a, an aspect of yourself, pile number four, is that it's just unnecessary. You want to carry so much because it's like you're passionate about what you're doing, right? But God's like, give me some of the load. I'll carry it. Your angels and guides are like, give me some of the load. I'll carry it. It's not a big deal. I promise you. I promise you I'll help you. <laughs> I promise you, you don't have to do this alone. Okay, and with the four cups in reverse and the knight of wands, I think you're finally going to take spirit up on that offer. You're like, okay, cool. Let me go do that. Like, let me just alleviate some of this burden, right? So with the will of fortune and the devil, um, I feel like you're, you're feeling on top of the will. But okay, this is what I'm getting in regards to... In regards to your your fortune or like your destiny, you could feel bound to something or someone, okay? Or even just like where you're at right now, like you feel like you're on top of the wheel, but then there is this lingering feeling of like being tied to something or someone or almost like I'm getting contractually obligated, right? That's what I'm getting from this devil card. It's almost like you feel like you're contractually obligated, but you're not. It's all in your head. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Yeah, you're feeling like you're contractually obligated to someone or something or to a cause, but you're not. It's all in your head, especially with this will of fortune in the upright position right above this it's all in your head also this could be a capricorn you could be a capricorn okay pile number fours or you could be experiencing capricorn tendencies right now and if you don't know what like like you you could, you could be asking what are capricorn tendencies kind of like obsession with work um kind of like paying more attention to the 3D and the material, just what your just what your eyes can see, okay? Um yeah. Maybe not facing certain like um 
certain things that need to be faced right now, you know? But what I'm getting here is contractual obligation that you're feeling in your heart, but it's it's all in your head. You're not contractually obligated to anybody or anything. And look, this justice card is in reverse. I'm also getting like law, like legally binding, and it's in reverse. And then the Ten of Pentacles, some of you could be leaving a marriage or a long-term commitment with this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Or some of you could be gaining an epiphany about leaving a long-term commitment that you've been feeling bound to with this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You've been like weighing it, weighing the pros and the cons. Because it's almost like you are up on your blessings right now. So it's like, if there was a time to do this, I would do it now. But I'm going to get... Interesting that we have two Ace of Swords cards, pile number four. And the first card is, is the Six of Swords. So there is a sense of reprieve and a sense of like, ah, like lay down my burdens, so to speak. But I'm feeling like this was the energy that you're coming from. But now you're being offered to just release, you know, but I want to I want to pull some extra cards in regards to clarifying this Ten of Wands and this uh, Devil card. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for blessing this deck, for giving us clear, concise, accurate messages. Why is this Ten of Wands here, Spirit? Please clarify this Ten of Wands. Yeah, the Hierophant. This is like a commitment. Why is this Ten of Wands here, Spirit? Tell me more. Queen of Wands and Temperance. Huh, this could be about Sagittarius. This could feel like almost like you feel committed or obligated to a Sagittarius female. Ten of Wands in reverse at the bottom of the deck. You're going to let something go or you're going to like alleviate a burden in regards to this. This could be a Sagittarius because I'm getting temperance with the Queen of Wands, so I'm just ultimately getting Sagittarius. doesn't have to be. But the Hierophant, this could be like a student. I don't know if you guys are teachers or something or like a spiritual teacher. This could be a student or like someone you work with. Hmm. Wow. I get what's going on. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, in essence, this Ten of Wands is clarifying like you could be feeling a little overwhelmed in work. You could be working with like a Sagittarius female or feminine energy and uh, maybe they look up to you, but you're feeling burdened about like that. Okay. Tell me more, Spirit, please clarify. And this if this doesn't resonate problem before it's okay i'm just getting like there could be more than meets the eye when it comes to this fire sign or when it comes to um this workload that you're taking on okay tell me more spirit please clarify this devil card clarify this devil card spirit we have the chariot okay we have the empress in reverse interesting Please clarify this. And then we have the Five of Swords. Huh. The Magician at the bottom of the deck. That's so interesting. Interesting energy. So we have the Magician at the bottom of the deck, the Chariot, the Empress, and the Five of Swords. Okay. It's like someone, hmm, maybe it's time to move forward. Someone's trying to win at all costs and it's time to move forward. And then we have this Empress card in reverse. And it's like someone's not, someone's not like receiving that energy, like the moving forward energy with the Chariot card, the Empress, and the Five of Swords. And then the Magician. And then we have the Lovers. Yeah, this is a connection. This is a connection, pile number fours. Hmm. It's like someone's not letting you go either, okay? Hmm. I feel like someone still wants to be bound to your energy. I don't know. That's just what I'm getting. 
But let's let's see. Clear, concise, accurate messages, spirit. What does what do you what would you like for our pile number fours to know in regards to yourself? The angels and guides, spirit, for pile number four. Clear, concise, accurate messages for pile number four. What do you want them to know right now, spirit? Along with their angels and guides. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Okay. We have, okay, card number 18, shadow. I'm getting cancer energy. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number fours in regards to... What would you like them to know right now, spirit? Hey, nine of harvest, nine, uh, card number nine, material harvest, excuse me. Beautiful. Tell me more, spirit. And look, we have card number 18, one and eight, that's nine and nine. Okay, tell me more, spirit. Thank you. Yeah, awesome, dude. We have three ace of swords. Look, everything is great. <laughs> Everything is great about number four, okay? Triumphant success. You're about to be a triumphant success. You know, look, to whom much is given, much is required. And if you're with that Ten of Wands, with the Hierophant coming out, the Queen of Wands, and the Temperance card, I was almost getting like two scenarios. So like, you can be in this state of like influence right now, especially with the Hierophant card, right? And a lot of people are going to be coming into your energy. It's just up to you, pile number four, is to discern the energies and to transmute them, okay? Especially with that temperance card, I was in Sagittarius energy, and then with the queen of wands. It's like you make everything look easy and effortless, but it does take effort. It takes a concerted effort, even energy work, right? I have a lot of tarot readers who follow this channel and I have a lot of uh, healers who look, who, who, you know, who look to these messages and it is work. Energy work is work. So always remind yourself of that and continue to stay in constant prayer with God and, and, and your angels and guides and you're going to be okay. I promise. Look at this. Look at how this completely s switched around. And it's like, you're you're getting more of that clarity. You're getting more, you're gaining more of that focus on that understanding pile number fours, okay? One more card, Spirit. What do uh, you and pile number fours, angels and guides want them to know right now? Wow, six of swords. Moving on, you're moving forward in your life. You're moving forward in your life, pile number fours. Okay, we have card number nine, suffering and silence at the bottom of the deck. No more. There's no more anxious nights. You're leaving this in the past, okay? This person is holding a wand in their hand, so they're gathering their inspiration and they're journeying into, you know, what is for them, right? This is giving me nine of swords energy, and look, we have nine, nine, nine. It's like the, the, um, I'm also getting like the death card, even though it's not here, but you have transmuted an energy and you are leaving behind like a different level, you know? Oh my goodness. You know what I'm getting? New level, new devil. That's what that chariot card was. Wow. Sorry, y'all. It takes me a minute some days, but, um, new level, new devil devil so to speak and it's almost like I always give the comparison like think about when you're playing mario kart or think about when you're playing like a video game and every level you get to you gotta face the bowser or you gotta face like you know the the little monster at the end to to see okay measure your strength right so to speak measure your worth okay if you get through this okay then you could get through the next one then you could get through the next one right so that's what i'm getting new level new devil so to speak right so new level there's always going to be room for growth there's always going to be room for you know um triumph triumph if I'm <laughs> triumph, yeah, <laughs> there's always going to be room for that pile number one, pile number fours, and you all are leveling up. So like new level, new devil. That's just what I'm getting. It's like the more success you gain, 
there will be um there will be things that you'll have to overcome but that's life baby that's the beauty of being here on earth <laughs> I always get that Beyonce, uh, it's from one of her songs, I forget which one, but she says, the tears we cry, let us know that we, we're alive, you know? And it does. That's the beauty about living on earth. You, we do have those, um, we experience and we feel everything. And that's what makes, that's what let, lets us know that we're alive and breathing and we're living every day. Okay, but yeah, you're moving on towards triumphant success, okay? You're you're just you're blessed, you're always in a constant state of prayer, and your resilience is showing through, pile number four, per usual. We have three ace of swords here. You're very clear on your objective, you're very clear on where you're going and who you're becoming, okay? So let's pull some more cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for blessing our pile number fours, for blessing myself and these cards, for giving us divine guidance, wisdom, and insight into what you would like pile number fours to know, along with their angels and guides. Spirit, right now, what would you like pile number fours to know, along with their angels and guides? Thank you, thank you. Okay, again, we have Bridget uh, Alchemy. You're performing alchemy right now. You're an alchemist, okay? This is the temperance card. Tell, tell us more, spirit. Okay, we have, look, we have uh, Mother of Seas, which is the Queen of Cups perception. Tell us more, spirit, in depth. What advice do you want pile number four to know, along with their angels and guides? What Advice do you want pile number four to know right now, along with their angels and guide spirit? Look, we have Mother of Wind creativity, so that's the Queen of Swords. One more card, spirit. What advice would you like pile number four to know, along with their angels and guide spirit? Tell us what. Thank you. Okay, look, okay, initiation, exactly. You're up leveling, right? We have Mary Magdalene initiation. So in this deck, this is the uh, devil card. So yeah, there's just, I feel like you're fueling your obsession with your craft. That's why it's like new level, new devil. And you're like, look, the higher I go, there's going to be at an energetic level more work to be done but you're answering the call i'm getting that uh what is, it? is it king author king author like the one who who gets the sword out of the stone that's what i'm getting <laughs> i don't know why you guys have three ace of swords cards here Clarity is an understatement. Look, and we have, look, we have the six of pentacles and the six of wands, forgiveness and success. The reason why you're garnering this much success is through forgiveness. Your heart is on fire. Your heart is open. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay. You're letting your creativity do the talking pile number fours. Okay. And you have this beautiful way of like, perceiving the good in everything that's probably why we're, we're getting temperance this temperance card here in this alchemy you alchemize your perception change your perception change your perception change your world you could have been attracted to pot number three as well or i said that in the beginning of this reading but um you have really learned to cultivate a really beautiful inside especially in regards to your mind you just have, and you see everything. You always, I feel like you always know where there's a will, there's a way, okay? <laughs> yeah, and you use your creative faculties to do this, to transmute this energy. Again, we have sacred law card number um, eight, and this is the justice card, crow woman. Yeah, you, it's almost like you have a bird's eye view of things or you have a very objective 
way of looking at things. And that's why you can operate through optimism because you're objective. You're like, okay, <laughs> like you don't take anything personal or you're learning, you're beginning not to, you're learning not to, you're learning how to transmute that energy into what you would take personal and just transmute it and like forgive it and let it go so that, you know, you could just keep cultivating this success, you know? And it's like you feel your emotions, you know that they're valid, but you transmute them more at a rapid pace than you ever have before, pile number, pile number fours. <laughs> and it's leading you to utmost success. Like literally, we have double success cards. Six of wands and the six of, it, six of pentacles literally says success here, okay? All right. So let's wrap up your reading, my beautiful pile number fours with the soul journey cards thank you god thank you spirit thank you god thank you spirit last messages for our popular fours what would you like them to know right now what would you including their angels and guides want them to know right now spirit thank you thank you thank you thank you god thank you spirit last messages for our popular fours thank you god thank you god thank you god last messages for our popular fours Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Happiness. Happy feelings. <laughs> okay, one more card, Spirit. One more card. Thank you. Look, we have humor. Look, you're able to transform a not so ideal situation into the perfect one through laughter, through humor, okay? It's funny because I'm getting Kevin Hart laugh at my pain. But look at how successful Kevin Hart has become because he's transmuted his pain or this could be his actual you know emotional pain into laughs and that's the best medicine pile number four laughter is the best medicine we have humor i choose i choose to focus on the lighter side of life exactly i love this energy okay we have happiness i'm aware that being happy means i'm on the right path always Okay, we have empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Yeah, you are very open. And that's forgiveness in a nutshell. Okay, we have fear. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in a state of love. Exactly. You're transmuting this fear into empathy and love. And surrender, baby. We got surrender, okay? I can release my need to control. Exactly. You might not can, tr can control what others do. Pile number four, but you know in the depths of your heart, you can control how you respond to it. And to me, that's the elixir of life, as Paulo Calejo will put it, right? That's the elixir of life, knowing that you could transform any situation by your perception of it, by how you look at it, right? So with that being said, my lovely pile number fours, I love you guys so much. Your energy never fails or ceases to amaze me. I love how you all stay in the light always, you know what I'm saying? And I love how you all tend to transform anything into a humorous endeavor and like the lighter side of life. I love that. Um, I'm getting optimism from you. I'm getting, you know, cup half full vibes, okay? So with that being said, pile number four, I love you so much. Thank you so much for tuning into this reading. If you like this, if you got anything out of it if it just even made your day in the slightest please give this reading a big thumbs up like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones friends family or anyone else who would best benefit from the messages provided here today pile number four is i love you guys so much and until next time i'll see you in your next reading dreamy dreamers bye